Hi, good morning everyone. I'm Ellen and this is Julie and we're here at Spring Quilt Market in Kansas City, Missouri. We are Shannon Fabrics and we're booth 1315. We're going to take you on a super quick tour of the inside of our booth. Ready? Here we go. Let's go. Come on with us. So we're starting off in one of our favorite parts of the booth and that is our new kit release. So the very first one up is a Hoffman panel that we're incorporating into this great throw. We're calling it a throw, but it could be used as a wall hanging or many other things in your house. Um, it's got such a great feel to it. We did put a little batting inside this one so that it displays nicely, but it doesn't have to have the batting in it. And this is called Brother Bear. So our kit name describes each one of our kits. So if you're looking for a particular thing, you could call it Shannon Fabrics Brother Bear Kit. So we love this one and this is done really well. We, it's, we released it a couple weeks back and it's already showing that it's going to do really well. So then we, uh, we're moving on to our shark print that we released a few months ago, but we've made it into a kit now. We've married it up. It's called Jaws. Isn't that, isn't that obvious? <laughs> and so we uh, married it up with one of our Galaxy Mallards, which I know you love the Mallards uh, and, and the Galaxy both. So I think it looks great. This is one of our Fab Fives, we call it, because it's five 10 inch strips in a box. So, uh, and then you can sub cut these any way you want because we only cut them so far and then you can cut them how you want. Each kit has its own slip inside, a pattern inside to show you that you can cut them in different ways. So it can be individual or you can do it exactly like we did. Then we have something we need your participation in. So. How you doing is the name of the kit. Uh, we work very hard at these names. I just want you to know that it's a real, a real effort and a real fun party. You know, a few, uh, a few laughs out of it. Anyway, how you doing is a, we're contemplating it being a new kit. We need your thumbs up and let us know what you think. Should we go forward with this or should we just pick something new from the new? Because the, the uh, wolves are from the last release doesn't make them any less important they're just from the last release and again Hoffman it's a Hoffman uh, digital design and don't forget about Mitch the monkey and the little slippers yeah, and I, the narwhal I have to tell you I think that's pretty darn funny with his slippers on so <laughs> and those are funky friends factory patterns again we love her patterns for our fabrics look how amazing this is in, in the, the lux and the ridge you can mix it with the solid cuddle and whatever textures you want. And Mitch the monkey, he's enlarged a little bit, but he's just adorable. We love him. Oh, and again, don't forget some more Embrace Double Gauze. This is an Indigo Junction pattern. It's the PJ set. So easy to sew, wonderful, breathable, comfy. Love it. Great lounge clothes. So let's move on to the other side of the booth here and we'll show you the few more kits that we have. So this is going to be a crowd pleaser, I know it. It's called Flamazing and we have incorporated into it our Cuddle Sparkle. So you can see the glitter on that and it really is soft, it's very soft. It surprises everybody how, how beautiful it is. It's a foil texture, so it stays on. There's no glitter all over everybody. It stays completely where it was put originally. We also put the backing inside the kit, and you can see that it also has the, the glitter on the back as well. So every little girl is gonna be just as happy as they can be. So I'm gonna move on here to the I Lie Like You. And so this is our rosy print that we've um, done in the eggplant colorway. We've mixed it with a couple different of our purples, which we, we like to mix sometimes a little C3 in with, as you can see probably in that texture there, along with our one of our lattice prints in the Lux. Um, mermaid Tail, she's not new, but we thought she was so cute with this array that we would put her back up again, and she's done so well that her popularity uh, warranted a new placement in the booth. Again, we've used the Galaxy. You can see that in the blush, you can see the different colored palettes of it. When you see a big piece of Galaxy, you do see the tie-dye effect that it gives. I think it looks fabulous. We also, I think you could also do other things with these. We've talked about this in the past. This is a quick tip. Let's say twins are coming in your life. 
buy a Fab Five, cut it in half, and make two small blankets with it. Isn't that cute? Then they can have their matching little blankets. You could also do pillows with this. You could do other things with it. It doesn't require just this kit to be in this look. You can do what you want. You can be creative with it. Y'all are so creative. And we also have our new Cuddle Sweet Strips packs. We have four of these. They're 18, um, 18 uh, rolls in a pack, pre-cuts, two of, two of each. They're 10 inches by 60, the width of the fabric, and there's four different collections. And these are just like a, you know, take it and go, pick it up, make a strip quilt, make a scarf, make garments, whatever you want, play with them. So, Cuddle Sweet Strips. See where we're going next. Here we are, this is a little bit more holiday. So this is a little different from the traditional holiday colors possibly. We went ahead and did a Merry Christmas panel. This is one of Shannon's designs. And it's a big, it's a pretty good size panel. It's a 45 by 60 inch panel in this particular one. There's more birds on it. We just are stretcher bars, which is what's on these. A lot of people ask, what are these on? Because they're hard. And it's the stretcher bars that you get at the craft store that you can put together and just stretch fabric on them. So we do that with the panels as well. You'll see over here with the polar bears from Hoffman, we just stretched it onto the stretcher bars. So you could use it as a piece of artwork or you can continue, uh, or you could use it for a display if you're in a position to needing a display somewhere. And then we have our North Pole print. You'll see up here that it's just Santa having a good old time. Santa kind of needs a sandwich in this case, but you know what, he's all right. Look at the cute little penguins. Aren't they cute? And the reindeer. Oh, and don't forget, this is another Hoffman print. We are loving, loving, loving the Hoffman prints. Come on over here. This is Ellen's station. So she'll be working here all day today. So come say hi. So we have two fun Shannon prints. This is called Champs. We, uh, you know, we, we have a couple uh, sports prints and we thought this was a great add to it. It's fun, it'll make a really great, fun outside throws and things for those games that you're freezing to death in. Probably not the uh, basketball game you're freezing in, but some of those others you could be. So they're great for that. As well as memory, memory quilts, you know, take old t-shirts and maybe combine t-shirts together with the prints to create memory quilts. Um, we also did two scoops which I think I love this one. It's love navy it. blue ground with the um, sprinkles on top. I just think the colors are just fun. We have so many new luxes that go with these. They're, this is just gonna be a super fun piece. We, are, we don't have a little throw out of it because this is all we have so far. So you'll be seeing more real soon. Then we have this this Halloween quilt. Now, we, he isn't a kit, but I'm already getting requests for him, so we'll have to kind of think about that maybe. Maybe you can give me your, your input on that as well, as what you think about should we do a little quilt. It's small. It's like a 37, 38 inches by about 28 inches wide. But I think his little face, is that just cute? Um, Renee, one of our team members, actually did that. She created the whole thing. She did a great job. Um, and then this is one of the new Halloween prints. Yes, I said Halloween prints. We did it. So we have these two prints as well. Again, we have these tiny little pieces because they're just starting to come in. We're just seeing the strike offs. So um, we have uh, who? Oh my goodness, I've forgotten the name of it, you guys. Oh, Boo Hoo. How could I forget <laughs> that? How could I forget Boo Hoo, please? This is Monster Mash, and this is Eye of Newt. So finally, the last kit that we didn't do on the other side, but it's blast off. But it looks so cute with this array, we had to put it over here by itself because it was so sweet. And again, another Fab Five. Our Fab Fives are just so popular. You can do so much with them. There's so many variations. People just love them. It was a great opportunity to use a little bit of the Apple C3 with the brightness inside there with this lining. And then of course, another galaxy, but how appropriate that the galaxy <laughs> is with the galaxy, right? All right, so tomorrow we're gonna rejoin 
and talk a little bit. Annette's going to come on and she's going to talk a little bit about the new fabrics so that you can see some of the other things that aren't, aren't up on the walls but maybe are in some throws and she'll show you some headers. She's going to introduce somebody new to you as well. So we'll come back tomorrow and we'll see and, and have a chat with you then. Well, and thank you. And definitely, sorry, definitely feel free to comment. Let us know what other videos you want to see what else you want to learn about, what else you want to know, your questions, your comments, we love them. So keep them coming and maybe we'll even stop by later today to see you. Thank you. Thanks. Have a great day.